Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Baruka Kodash. I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners, laboring in the vine which is this earth in these last days. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Barakatam. Um, it's the brother Yaraya Yasharala from the GMS Italia camp. So as you can see on the screen, here is a video made by the elder Malkama, I believe of um, the GMS Chicago branch, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, someone should correct me. And yeah, he just brought out a video. He did a video. And the title of the video is They Were Called Nigger Kicked Out of Israel Again. Okay. So it's a really beautiful video and I advise you all to go watch the video on his page, GMS Maccabian Spirits Bar, okay? So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I watched the video and, you know, I was led by the spirits to go through the comments and there was this particular comment I saw that, you know, got my attention and so... You know, I'm just inspired to do a lesson on, on the, on the, on the comment. Excuse me, I have this, this adverts going on. So, as I was saying, well, in order to understand this video, you should go and watch the video. So I'm doing this lesson because there is this particular comment that I saw. Here is the comment. So you see the comments, it's by this individual, G. Kate Walker. Okay. So anyway, um, the elder was actually speaking on, um, was giving, you know, precepts on the reason why, you know, some um, black Americans, so-called black Americans have been, you know, sent out of um, the land of Israel, which is occupied by the sons of Amalek today. As we all know, who are the sons of Esau, okay, the so-called white man. So, you know, this dude just came out, you know, with stuff like this, you know, on the misspell of black and white, you know, trying to be, trying to sound like he is um, deep and um, and trying to sound like, you know, a sort of, um, I don't know, um, someone that knows a lot. So, well, let's go and check more. So yeah, he made this comment, which, well, I don't see anything that much, you know, bad in this comment, you know. So, you know, he was going into this comment more and more. Well, is it this? No, that's a different. Uh, yes, excuse me. This is the, this is the comments that I actually saw. That comment is a different comment, but it's always the same person, you know. So he made, he started, you know, speaking, he said, the Spanish Inquisition marked the moment in time which the wicked Yahudite betrayed the Yahudim family. Ben Ayah Israel tells part of the tale. This is also in Revelations, which was Babylon, Armageddon. We are in the daughter of Babylon now. Yahushaphat is coming now. Jehoshaphat, as them say, you know. And, you know, this comment he made is just sounds... Sounds to me bogged out, you know. It sounds really bogged out to me, you know. But the elder Malcolm, you know, commented and he told him, True, there is no you in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew, so he told him that Judah is Yahawada, not Yahudim, Yahuda, Yahuda Heights, just like it says. And this could have actually popped up, you know, a window of question in his mind. You know, this could have popped up a window of question in his mind to 
to ask more and seek more to make more inquiries on this truth but rather what did he do you know he went on saying yes i understand such as well yet the numbers in gematria led me to perceive yahawa means yah avenge which is wrong yahawa means um he is you know he that exists you no know, he said yah avenge and the spirit vibration has to develop some more i have no issues with either side of our family that is the paternal of which most here are yasharel for that is whom yah is waiting to awaken those called by his name yet the spirit of great elder ephraim wait awaken well just go through all this by yourself and you see it's all you find out that the brother has been learning from different camps and you know he's bogged out i'm sorry to say i don't know who this person is i'm nobody to say this but this is just the feeling i had because someone like this can confuse a lot of people in this truth you know and this truth you need to you need to you need to you need to learn from the basics you know and not go immediately to things that are too hard for you to to understand if not you get bucked out you know so you see this brother right here you know he's just you know writing all sort of stuff that are instead of him to listen to the el uh, to the apostle to the elder sorry excuse me i have this okay instead of him listening to to the elder amalkama and take to correction you know he rather chooses to to go on and prove that he is well learned he knows a lot you know then he went on you see <laughs> i believe the the elder malcolm after saying his comments i believe he must have thought this dude is you know bugged that i shouldn't even waste my time he wouldn't get it because he's coming back you know proving trying to show that he knows he knows he knows you know so he's been left there and you know and he went on he didn't stop there you know he said judah is not the same that's a 1500 spanish inquisition invention along with the letter j that i do yada yada you know so it keeps going intend even as now brother the family had a big fight after wait i have something in a few review you know it kept on going then you know i was moved by the spirit and i had to drop him you know a comment and i wrote with all due respect you sound confused stick to simple things and gradually make your steps into the truth and i sent him the the precept in the book of hebrew chapter 5 verse 13 to 14 which quotes for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe you know so people that just get into the truth at, at the beginning you know they're actually taking milk you know they go into the normal basics trying to understand simple things like who is who is um who are the true israelites the 12 charts you know then getting to know who is the wicked you know then getting to you know understand the reason why we went into 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 slavery the reason why we've gone through all these problems we've been going through all this while you know then before you start taking gradual steps to understanding you know deeper stuffs you know so and this is and it said it's in verse 14 but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who are who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So we have elders in this truth, people who have grown grown stronger in this truth, who has been in this truth for, for many years, you know. I think you become an elder if um, after being in this truth for 12 years, I believe, you know so you, st you 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 see you these are people who are prepared their spirits are prepared you know unlike many other brothers you know the most High gives people different different spirits to discern you know some people get into this truth in just six months and the most High, you know puts a heavy spirit of understanding upon them to understand this truth the deeper meanings in this truth and you know the most I, you know he opens the eyes of those who he wills to open their eyes to understand this truth you know so 
some people get into this truth in just one year they they have deeper understanding they they understand l a lot of these truths you know and that's due to this kind of spirit the most high yahweh by hashem yahweh shai has given to them you know so at the end i wrote to him and i told him stick to one doctrine gms have the hundred percent truth take it or leave it shalom and this is just it you know then if you go to the brother's page you see the kate walker right there he it looks like a simeonite i'm not sure you know it could be judite i don't know then if you go to his videos and you find you see all sorts of bugged out you know stuffs a message to the hebrew israelite family seek knowledge i understand before of it taught by all this you know so-called um so-called teachers he saw teachers you know you know so i saw exactly one that cut my mind you know see all these yahoo stuff and you know these people got the wrong names you know yeah and this one got my eyes you know message to the gentile priest of my own christian prophets and stuff like that. i i believe i once watched this video sometimes ago you know and you know you have the lady teaching which is against the law you know which is against the law a woman is not supposed to teach and if you watch the video you see she was the one doing most of the teaching than the men you know so you see and this is not the true name of the most high his true name is yahawa because you don't have the letter you don't have the verb you in the in the hebrew in the hebrew alphabet you know so now let's get another precept that i kept aside this is the book of Ex Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3. Yeah, is it? Yes, it's chapter 3. Then verse 21 says, Seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither such the things that are above thy strength. And this is just the, the exact fall of many people who are meant to come into this truth. They don't take time to start from the basics. They just want to jump into things that are very, very you know complex for them and at the end of the day they get bogged out you know they get bogged out they get worse than the, the states they were before you know so you stop you don't need to listen to different camps just like um the elder manata zach bar of south carolina always teaches you know you stick to one you stick to one group to one camp when i came into this truth I also had the tendency of watching different camps, you know, watching different truth. But then while I was watching this truth, you know, the spirit of the Most High was actually, you know, working heavily upon me. And, you know, it was giving me the sign that, you know, the truth, the 100% truth is found only in the Great Millstone, you know. Those were the people that when I listened to their teachings, you know, they just, it just goes straight deep into my spirit. And I get that confirmation, man, this, this is the camp that I need to listen to. You know, and I need to stop all that crap of listening to all that camps. You know, you can listen to all that camps when you are already strong enough in this truth, when you have a firm foundation in this truth. You know, when you when you've left the meat and uh, the milk and start eating the meat meat of this truth. You know, when you're already strong, then you can listen to other camps and even see where they go wrong, and see stuffs that you can correct. You know so um to those who are really sick in this truth you know you need to you need to stick to the basics and you know the biggest advice i can give you is that of you know sticking to one camp you know and that camp to stick to is the great millstone gms because these men have the truth the hundred percent truth even if you go back to the history of how all these other camps were all formed you see the great millstone are those who, who actually are, are, are the people the most high yahawa is working with because most of them are not making use of the right names of the most high they don't even know the scripture as well you know so you know you need to seek out things that are not too hard for thee neither such the things that are above thy strength if not you get bogged out man you get bogged out you know so i just wanted to do this short lesson and i hope it's quite edifying and I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Baruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS 
for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth doing the work. My salutations also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. May the most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Barakatam. Shalom.